Hi, my name's John Goldsby. You're about to watch a lesson from my new course, which is about constructing jazz bass lines, available exclusively at discoverdoublebass.com. Enjoy the lesson. Let's talk about chords, scales, and leading tones. As I've said, jazz bass lines are made up of only chord tones, scale tones, or leading tones. And all of these exercises uh, serve the purpose of giving you the vocabulary to be able to improvise what you're hearing in your head. So when you're playing with a group, when you're playing by yourself, your ear is going to guide you once you have these basic building blocks of uh, how to build a jazz bass line. So let's look at this etude, which combines chord tones, scale tones, and of course, leading tones. In bar one, we have an F7, an F triad arpeggio. Leading tone, up the B flat scale. Leading tone, down the F scale. Leading tone to the fifth. Now in bar five, we play a B-flat mixolydian scale or B-flat dominant scale in thirds. Leading tone, F. Leading tone to D7, down the scale. G minor, now three chromatic leading tones into C7. Three chromatic leading tones into F chromatic leaning tones down to C7, down the scale. Now we're in the second chorus, B flat triad, F triad, leading tone to C minor, up the scale, B flat triad, A minor triad, Leading tone, D7. Leading tone, G minor. Leading tone. Leading tone. Leading tone. Leading tone. So you can hear by mixing all these different concepts using chord tones and scale passages and sometimes just using a chromatic approach into the next downbeat, uh, we create a really interesting line. It's a mel melody, it's a counterpoint to a line that could happen above. And that's my, my ultimate goal when I improvise a bass line. I wanna provide, a, of course, a compelling rhythm, a great groove, but I want, also wanna outline the harmony. And in addition to that, I wanna create a melody that moves along the bass continuum that complements whatever's happening on top. So when I play a bass line that, like that, I can imagine a horn player or a piano player thinking, oh yeah, I can play the blues on top of that. Uh, that's, that's the ultimate goal. So let's play this line together. I'll put on the metronome and we'll play uh, the etude chord scales and leading tones two times through. So two choruses with repeat. One, two, one, two, three, and four.
So experiment with this on your own. We're going to play this etude now with the rhythm section. So play along with the play along track. And then uh, once you feel comfortable playing this bass line, improvise your own bass line using chord tones, scale tones, and chromatic approach notes. And remember, actually there are no wrong notes. Uh, a, maybe a poor choice is corrected or defined by the note that comes afterwards. So even if you play yourself into a corner, always strive to hit the next harmonic landmark, which in this case would be the next downbeat of the next bar. See how you can work your way out of any holes that you <laughs> corner yourself in. Uh, so let's hear it with the trio now and uh, play along with the play along track. One, two, one, two, three. Thanks for checking out the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you need more information, just click on the links below.